welcome back to the second channel guys today we're going to be doing something a little bit different we're going to be unboxing a 1 million play button now if you guys are kind of confused because this channel actually only has a little bit over a hundred this is from my main channel which is just Kendall Gray it's like an outdoor vlogging channel but anyways we are going to dive on into this and then after we unbox this I'm going to give you a few tips to maybe get started on YouTube if you were kind of wanting to start it yourself so I guess first things first this is the box that came in there's my address is there but try not to look at it it's a big black box here it is compared to my body so yeah it's pretty big chest size target you know if it's bulletproof wouldn't be a bad idea to maybe strap it on in times of need but this is the box that it shipped in we'll go ahead and open it up we'll see what we can do now I do want to say this I'm a main channel I actually hit 1 million subscribers a long time ago and I actually got this a long time ago and opened it a long time ago so everything that's in here I've already seen it but I actually never made a video on it so I decided I'd come out here just give y'all a little unboxing just in case y'all wanted to see what it looked like because it is really cool the first thing I pull out is this little card it says congratulations on your subscriber milestone Rick thanks Rick appreciate it then we got this piece of foam that way it doesn't get Destroyed in shipping lay that up there and then it was in this little bag But I kind of I kind of like took it out, you know Just a uh, part of it and then I don't want to show you too much But I'm pretty sure there was a piece of paper on top that said congratulations from Susan But it has been lost because it's been a, a little while since I had it. but anyways We will pull it out here And here it is it's super reflective so you can see my face in it right now see you can see me but you can't guess what I'm doing. You can't because I'm winking. I'm winking. I'm, win I'm winking at you. Pretty solid. It is a gold play button. They actually redone these a couple years ago. So this is their newer version. And look how shiny it is. You can actually see the camera. That's how shiny it is. It's crazy, guys. It's a little, it's a good mirror. Right here it says presented to Kendall Gray for passing 1 million subscribers YouTube. On the back, it doesn't have anything, but it does have these two little things where you can hang it up. I've not hung it up, but that's okay. Now while I'm sitting here with it, I'll tell you the subscriber milestones where uh, YouTube actually gives you some kind of reward. Or award. I don't know. One of those things. The first one is 100,000, which I got two of those actually. The first one for my main channel and then the second one for the second channel. So I'm actually going to have a 100,000 play button for Kindle Gray 2 because we actually broke 100,000 subscribers on this channel that you're watching. Also, if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and do that because, well, let's go ahead and uh, get to 200,000. Even though you don't get an award for 200,000, the next award comes in at 1 million. Then after that, 10 million. Then after that, maybe 50 million. I'm not sure. Then probably 100 million, but there's only like two people that's done that. You already know the story. Oh, T series and Pew Pop Da Pa Beauty and Pew Da Pew Pa Da. All right, guys, I've uh, had a few takes right there. Had about 20 minutes that, um, well, I had no, I didn't, I don't know. I don't know. Let's just get started. Basic thing, I, I tried to make a video telling y'all some tips. It didn't work out, so I had to actually, I had to get down. I got my paper towel of, uh, of honor here. I guess. And I got some tips. And these are, I've, I've sit down and I've actually thought about it. These are some of the most important tips that I can even think of. And I thought about it as well. These are the tips that I'm going to have to go off myself. Instead of just trying to give you some stuff, I'm going to give you what I'm giving myself. The first one, good content's key, guys. Like, you, let's just take an example. One, you go out there, um, you catch a 10-pound fish, and it bites your arm off. That's some good content. On the other hand, maybe you go out there, you fish for 12 minutes, you get one bite, and nothing happens. But you still post the video which one's gonna do better guys people's probably not gonna watch you get one by and I've had I've, I've, I've went out and done I've done a lot of videos myself where I went out I've no, absolutely basically done nothing and I don't know I just don't think that's great content and if I don't know I just think that the best content is obviously gonna do better so try to get good content and another one is if you can get good content try to put your personality into it so for example let's say two people go out there and they both catch a five pound bat that's great content that's a good video but which one's going to do better? Well, if they're exactly the same, then they're going to do exactly the same. But if Jimmy over here just goes out and catches fish, like, hey man, I'm glad I caught this fish today. But if Johnny, you know, he goes out there, oh my god, <laughs> that's just personal. 
personality, guys. That's really him. When Johnny, I mean, when Jimmy, he may be a really awesome person in, in person, but he's a little afraid to get, be himself on camera. When Johnson, he don't care. He's just being himself. I think that Johnson will do better than Jimmy in the long run because he's truly showing his personality and bringing on down, bringing us on down to a next one. He's being real with himself. He's being his real person. At the end of the day, Johnson doesn't care what anyone else thinks about him because he knows what he thinks about himself and therefore he's happy because he knows he's a stinking savage, okay? When when Jimmy, he's over here, he's like, I don't know, man. I don't know. I kind of want to scream, but... Will, will, will Bella over there watching my video, will, will she think that I'm weird because I screamed? The answer is no, okay? If you be yourself, no one's going to judge you for that. And if there will be some people, but those people, they they have their own problems. So don't worry about them. That's why Johnson, he's going to come out on top because he's being himself and he's infusing his videos with his personality. That's what makes him unique. Another one in here. It's a pretty simple one, but it's very easily overlooked and a whole lot easier said than none. It is a great title and thumbnail. Now, a title and thumbnail is stuff like this right here. It's the basic stuff. It's the stuff you see that makes you click on the video. But the title and thumbnail is the first thing that people see. This was one of my recent videos it done really good because it had a very enticing thumbnail and title see it's an RPG I can't believe that's legal that's good like clickbait in a way but it's not clickbait that's just what we call titles I guess on the other hand one like maybe this one one of my examples of my videos what it's it's time to kill a deer or I don't even know what it was called but it was me holding a trail camera and a kind of boring title that's just it's not great clickbait and I could look at the analytics and tell that a lot of more people clicked on that one than they clicked on that one so get good clickbait and title and then the one on the back this is probably one of the most important ones and if you're still here watching this video good job because well I'm glad you're still here you may actually get some really good tips out of this last one and it is hard work hard work beats talent in a way like that talent is the wood one hit wonders they come out here they like they do good for a little while and then their talent because they are talented but then they don't work hard and they just disappear on the other hand the guy that's been grinding for his sixth year in a row maybe he's not the most talented person but he works harder than everybody else that's why he's here and he's not went anywhere in the last six years and another thing if you're not willing to come out here and put in the hard work maybe you have to question yourself do you really want it because a lot of people think that they want it a lot of people think that they want to be youtubers and stuff like that but then whenever it comes down to it you know like you got to go out you might gotta make solid videos you got to get up early you got to edit them all that stuff very quickly they realize that you know what maybe they don't want to work that hard and that's whenever they realize maybe they didn't really want it as much as they thought they wanted okay there's a big difference between thinking you want something and actually wanting something if you truly want something super bad like that is a desire burning desire I think you'll do whatever it takes to get there and if you are one of those people who really do have a burning desire to become a youtuber and you put in the hard work and you can be consistent and you don't give up even when bad things are happening and nobody watches a single video if you st if you come out here and you still work hard after that can happen well I I think you can be a YouTuber. I do. I think that goes for anybody. If anybody can come out here and work consistently and work super hard, outwork anybody else, you'll be a YouTuber, son. Listen, if you come out here and you work harder than me, absolutely you'll take my spot. That's just kind of how it is. And if I don't come out here and work hard every day to keep my spot, then I will lose it. And that is a fact. The people who's been here the longest, they're here because they've worked hard the longest and they've not given up. They've not slacked off. That's just my opinion. Maybe maybe y'all didn't like that. And uh, just saying, if I disappear in the next year or two years or three years, it's because I quit working hard. And I, I don't know. I just didn't work hard enough. But I don't think I'm going to go anywhere because I'm going to still work hard, hopefully. Dab. Dab explosion. <laughs> But anyways, guys, I got a little heated right there, mainly because, I don't know, maybe my blood pressure's popping up, my, my, my veins start to sweat. Anyways, we got a good unboxing in right there. Gave you a few tips. If you actually apply these, not even for YouTube, if you apply this type of stuff, these very basic concepts to anything, whether you want to go to the NBA, this formula works for that too. But anyways, I hope you liked the video. Sorry if you didn't. I guess. But 5,000 likes and I will do the unboxing for my 100,000 for Kendall Great Dog. <laughs> Welcome back to my second channel, guys. Today, we actually got a new dog. Watch out, Chip. What are you doing, Chip? What are you doing, Tater? <laughs> <laughs> but now it's time I do want to show you the dog. He is right here. Here he comes. How you doing, buddy? How you doing, buddy? How you doing? 
This is our newest dog, guys. His name's Chad. Now, Chad is a Norwegian elk hound, the same breed as Sheba. You can tell because they look the same. Ain't that right, Chad? Come here, Chad. Come here, Chad. Come here, Chad. Come here, Chad. Good doggy. Good doggy. He is pretty fearless, mainly because he, he's not smart enough to understand what it should be afraid of, but I think he does have good potential. 